All right, damn Batman, we get fired. Damn it, and we and we're at the mayor's office. Welcome back. So we are continu continuing on with um, Batman, uh, and currently we're at Wayne Tower. So let's see what's in store for us. Oh, yes. Everybody hates me. Even my secretary. Damn it! Everybody hates me. Almost there, Lucius. I'll meet you down in the lab. Some aspects of the children of Arkham surveillance are worrying. Great. Bruce. Bruce. Chairwoman. I didn't think you'd be here. I was, uh... I used to look to Thomas for guidance in hard times. Huh? What about Must me? Must seem silly. After everything that's happened. You know what they say about old habits. Yeah, yeah. I miss them too. Both of them. I know. Every day, I wish a father was still with us. Yeah. He was wise beyond his years. And Martha, she was such a delight to have around. Hey, what about me? I've been called in for an emergency board meeting. I wasn't told about it. You weren't invited, Bruce. You are the topic of discussion for the board. They want to decide what your future at this company will be. Whether to dismiss you or not. What? You have to understand, Bruce. This company is bigger than any one individual. We have to keep face. And after this scandal... <laughs> what? They can't fire me. It's possible they can. It's the most logical solution, with the business in jeopardy. It doesn't mean I have to agree with it, though. Bruce, I've got something. You need to get down here. Now! I worked with your parents for years, and neither of them gave any indication of foul play. How could you have ever known? Bruce! You're nothing like him, Bruce. We always build up the people closest to us. When they fall, it's a terrible blow to everyone around them. I appreciate the sentiment, Regina. Thank you. I mean what I said before. Families like ours need to flock together. Perhaps now, more than ever. I should head down. I don't want them to make a decision without me. I'll come find you after. I'll be right down, Lucius. Good to hear she's still in your corner. <laughs> Spying on my conversations again? Hey, I'm looking out for you. There have been whispers that the board was going to take action against you. What? If you lose the company, Batman will take a massive hit too. I know the cave is well equipped, but all of this is owned and paid for by the company. The board's in a panic, but this will die down before it comes to that. I'm glad you're being optimistic about this, but I'm not so sure. Right now, finding out how the children of Arkham are spying on the police is more important. What have you got? It's Wayne Tech, Bruce. As you know, Wayne Enterprises is a telecommunications giant. If someone were to, say, uh, build a backdoor into that tech... You're telling me the children of Arkham hacked into this system? So that's the thing. Do you want the good news or the bad news? Um, uh, you're not gonna like it. Give me the good news. <laughs> there's good news? If the children of Arkham are accessing the Wayne Enterprises network, I can't imagine there's a bright side. Eye of the beholder, Bruce. 
The good yeah. news is, I should be able to shut down the back door. What? But that's because I was the one that built it. What? You? What are you talking about? When your mission as Batman started, you needed a way to monitor the city. Well, this is how. I piggyback Batman's surveillance onto Wayne Enterprise's signal. Uh-huh. If the children of Arkham have access to the same system, does that mean they know my identity? It looks like they've only accessed the GCPD so far. Not a lot of activity otherwise. I'll have Alfred warn Gordon. The GCPD needs to get rid of their Wayne Tech devices. Smart move. I've encrypted our access. I can fortify it, but it's gonna take longer to force them out of the system. The question remains, how did the children of Arkham find out about the back door in the first place? They shouldn't have been able to find it. Not unless they knew what they were looking for. Whoever broke in certainly knew how to cover their tracks. Yeah. We have a mole. There's no way they could have gained access without someone on the inside. Only a handful of people at the highest level could possibly find out about the back door. I'm gonna keep working on this Children of Arkham business. See if there's a way to shut down their access entirely. We'd better lock this stuff down, just in case. Newly elected Mayor Harvey Dent gave a rousing speech late last night, refuting claims that the Children of Arkham were gaining control in Gotham. Despite his run-in with the masked group on the way to the event, people are still hopeful that Mayor Dent can pull through on his campaign promises. People like the Children of Arkham want to tear us apart. They want to burn everything that we've built to the ground. They don't choose to see the good in this city. But I do. Batman does. And we will fight to protect that goodness. Because we are not the Children of Arkham's playthings. We are proud citizens of Gotham, and this is our city. Next up, we speak to Commissioner Grogan regarding increased security measures city- Grogan? So, anything new? This is gonna take some time. Don't worry, I'll let you know when I find something. Okay. Kinda anx anxious, you know? Uh, that... Tiffany's really taking after you, and Luke. Stubborn as always. I think of what Gotham has become, and I think of them. They give me all the reason I need to work with Batman. He's the only one that will truly protect them. And he will, Lucius. Good. Always. Looks like another invaluable piece of Lucius Fox technology. Ooh, what's this? Uh, something I'm still working on. Some new armament to assist you in the field. Well, there's only so much you can do on your own. But it's not really ready yet. Thermal vision? <laughs> You've been busy, haven't you, Lucius? <laughs> not sure I'll ever get the first one back from Selina. <laughs> Wonder if that's the only thing she stole. Butter. A new sticky bomb I developed. The signal is activated on the underside. Attach it wherever you need, then detonate it remotely with your gauntlet. Boom. Nice. Be careful. Those things pack a serious punch. Really? That's good. I always wonder why you had a table that could hide itself. Guess it's coming in pretty handy now. Trust me. It was much more paranoia than precaution. 
So let's see how it works. Whoa! <sighs> Looks like Regina's headed to my office. I should go. Yeah, before you do. Here. Get that back to the Bat Computer. It'll install the added security measures. You'll also have all the info I found on the Children of Arkham's activity within the system. Thanks, Lucius. I've always got your back, Batman. Now get out of here. Regina doesn't like to be kept waiting. maybe you left. Yeah, right. Well, the board has voted. And have they sent the chairwoman to wield the axe? You're being asked to step down from your position as CEO. Effective immediately. At least until this whole mess gets cleaned up. This is just a temporary setback. Well, that's entirely up to you, Bruce. You need to prove to the board that you can be trusted in the seat. Just lie low. Don't cause a scene. It'll turn out. I ask to slow all this down, but... The press release is going out as we speak. There will be a public event in the morning where you will formally announce your resignation. What? I'm sorry, Bruce. I tried to fight for you. The board believes this is the only logical course of action. I see where they're coming from. I really appreciate you trying, Regina. Thanks. Don't mention it. Our stock is tanking. The board is losing confidence. Wayne Enterprises needs a new face. They already had a candidate in mind. I thought it was... <clears throat> I was outvoted. Remember, he'd only be interim CEO. Just until this mess gets cleared up. And who would that be? Oswald Cobblepot. Bruce, old boy. Good to see you again. As you know, Oswald's parents were, well, victims of your father's actions. This company was built on the land he stole from the Cobblepot family. Oh, well, the board thought having me step in would be a good PR move. What better way to show Gotham that Wayne Enterprises is committed to righting the wrongs of the past? Happy to help any way I can. I agree, but he's People the aren't much behind the Wayne name now. And considering that your parents stole from mine... I hear you've been keeping yourself pretty busy, Oswald. You sure you can handle this? I mean, wasn't there a revolution that you had to handle? I'm a brilliant multitasker. Okay. The board has complete confidence in Mr. Cobblepot. As his resume goes into great detail, his endeavors in England have been quite successful. Besides, the company basically runs itself at this point. The CEO is mostly a figurehead. Don't make this harder than it has to be. Well, then I guess congratulations are in order. It's nice to know you'll be the one trapped in this tiny office all day. Oh, I'm sure it's bigger than it looks. I'm afraid we need you to leave the building immediately. We'll have your personal effects sent to you. Congratulations, Bruce. I couldn't be prouder of you. Alfred. Oh, how sweet. Graduation present. Surely we could let him take this along. Oh, Bruce. Clumsy, clumsy. No wonder you're not being trusted with nice things anymore. 
I'll call someone in to clean that up. It'll only take a minute. Oh, Bruce and I can handle it. No trouble. Apologies, I don't know where my head was. Probably halfway out the door, mate. No worries. Yeah, yeah, that must be it. Careful clean that up, Oz. You might cut yourself. <laughs> Time to go, Bruce. Yes, Bruce. Time to go. I have a little redecorating to do. Your taste is a little too discreet for me. I think that maybe I'll add a fish tank. A large one. Something exotic. I know you, Oswald. I know what you really are. I'm no different than you, mate. Just a hard-working citizen. Looking out for Gotham. I doubt that. This way, Bruce. Damn it! I'll have IT come set you up. Fantastic. Thank you so much, Regina. Damn it! Loot! It happened, didn't it? They're out of their minds. They can't do this to you? This isn't over yet, Lucius. The entrance. I took care of it. We can't let anyone find out what's down there, Bruce. There are ways they could get in. You know that. It's all safe. Don't worry. For how long? Lucius, I need to know there's someone I can trust on the inside. I'm here for you, Bruce. I've always been here for you, not them. If I stay, I'll have to stop working on our Psy project. That means no new tech, no repairs if you need them. I could keep an eye on things for you. Let you know what they're up to. Feed you what information I can. But I can't risk Cobblepot finding out what I'm up to. No, Lucius, I need you to stay here. But... You're the only ally I have in this building. It's important. I need you to be my eyes and ears. Yeah, stay here, All Lucius. right, I can do that. Keep Oswald out of R&D, and let me know if anything comes up. Do that, Keep Lucius. that do drive it safe. I will, don't worry. Okay, so what now? Bruce Wayne will speak on the issue at a press event tomorrow morning, where we'll learn more about his decision to step down. More on that in a moment. I still can't believe it. Which part? I wish life were easier for you, Bruce. It's just one thing after another. That's why I'm glad I have you, Al. Always. <clears throat> uh, Lieutenant Gordon, he said there's nothing to be done about Oswald Cobblepot. All his records are spotless. He needs proof to dig further. Penguin slippery, all right. With the children of Arkham accessing Wayne Tech, I have to figure out what their next move is. I saved the mayor! Okay, let's go right. Bring up a searchable network of all possible electronic traffic related to Wayne Enterprises. If the children of Arkham are in our system, all of this is potentially accessible. All of this? Lucius was very thorough. It means that they could have eyes and ears into almost everything in Gotham. Great. 
just like Batman. Great. They had access to the GCBD, we know that. The real question is what else they'd be interested in. Filter for possible targets based on known children of Arkham activity. Well... I wonder if they've cleared out all the Wayne tech. This is ridiculous, Gordon. Do you know how much all this equipment costs? We don't have the budget to replace it all. It's a risk we've got to take, Commissioner. If the children of Arkham can hack into our systems, we're completely ineffective. And you think going into situations completely blind is any better? Considering the alternative, yes. Sounds like they've got the situation under control. Yeah. Good. One less problem to deal with. Gotham Courthouse. All public records pass through this place. Now look at this. Oswald's public record. None of this is right. His whole criminal history doesn't exist as far as the rest of the world is concerned. This must be what the board saw. Not a blemish in sight. Yeah. City Hall. Record of Gotham Mayors. Hill had been in office for so long, it's hard to remember a time when he wasn't there. Look at this. Theodore Cobblepot. Deceased two weeks before the election. What? No, I... Yes. Yes, I know it takes time, but... statement of the century. Considering I've got at least one of my guys in the ER. Yes. Just please let me know when it happens. The children of Arkham aren't going to wait on us. I suppose I can understand the truth of that. Harvey has no idea. It's impossible to tell if the children of Arkham have access to this, but if they do, any action he takes against them, they'll see coming. Yeah. Are you done here, sir? No. Not yet. Patients committed to Arkham going back 20 years. A rather extensive list. With my father's signature as the transferring doctor. Security footage. These date back decades. Alfred, the video at the debate. It's real. This is how they found their evidence. Something Hill did gave them access. At least now I know the truth. I've seen enough. I have to go warn Harvey. Keep an eye on this, Alfred, and have Lucius look into it as well. We need to find a way to lock them out. Very good, sir. Mr. Wayne, welcome. Hi. You can go on in. I'm back. Yes, that's right. The back time. I'll need a rental in the meantime. Yeah, yeah, just get it done. What? No, 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 no press conference. Just tell them to reschedule. Okay, yeah, we'll, we'll talk later. No rest for the wicked. Ah, uh, hey, Harv. Jesus! Don't sneak up on people like that. I wasn't expecting you, Bruce. You scared me right out of my skin. Whoa, whoa, what is your problem? You're being a bit erratic. Yeah, I'm sorry, Bruce. I'm just a little shaky. My nerves are totally shot. Uh, did anyone follow you? D no, what? Uh, good, no, that's, that's good. You can never be too careful. My mayoral portrait is scheduled for this morning. <laughs> Guess I don't really feel the part right now. I've been... Looking forward to this my entire career. Thought I'd win in a landslide. Be loved and supported, but this... 
I don't know, it just all feels different. I feel hated. Like the city's against me. What? It's like I don't fit. It's like I don't deserve it. After all, is it really a win if it's by default? Trust me, Arv. You were born to do this. You're the only person that can make a difference here. A part of me thinks you're just lying to make me feel better. <laughs> God, the mess that Hill left behind. I'm telling you, it's gonna take months to get everything back on track. I can't get the phone to stop ringing. The city's been in an uproar since the- Hold on, Harvey. You're acting weird, Bruce. Is something wrong? Just tell me! Are we being watched? What is going on? The technology at Wayne Enterprise is compromised. The children of Arkham are using our tech to listen in on Gotham. Oh, I knew it. They're already keeping tabs on the GCPD, and I'm pretty sure you're on their list, too. Bastards! They're like cockroaches. I've had this feeling for a while that I'm never alone anymore, that I'm always being watched. The children of Arkham, they, they attacked my car. They are after me, Bruce. They want me dead. They tried at the debate, and they will try again. Yes, How am I expected to leave when I've got a target on my back? I'm telling you, it's like they're always there, in the back of my mind. I feel like I am trapped in a nightmare, and I can't get out. They don't run this city, Harvey. You do. You have the highest authority in Gotham. You have all the power, not them. I'm not so sure, Bruce. I'm telling you, they've grown too powerful too fast. I don't know if I can do it on my own. You know what I should do? The GCPD is all but useless against these children of Arkham. Batman knows how this city works. He knows you can't be gentle with criminals. You've got to strike fear into their hearts. Maybe break a few bones along the way. But something's holding him back. I mean, just think. Imagine what he could do if we let him off the leash. He won't have the GCPD breathing down his neck anymore. He'll be able to really make the children of Arkham pay. I know he's a vigilante, but Batman's always respected a lot. I don't think he'll change his ways anytime soon. Then he's limiting himself. Batman works outside of the law. He's the only one getting anything done in this city. I mean, imagine, just imagine if we had an army of vigilantes just like him. Hmm. It'll be a new Gotham. A better Gotham. We can use the children what of Arkham's methods against about? them. If they want to play dirty, we'll play dirty. And they won't see it coming. Okay, I'll admit, that plan doesn't sound half bad. It'll be simple, easy. Curfews in the dark, checkpoints at every bridge, 24-7 video surveillance. No Whoa. one blinks in this city without my say-so. Whoa. Sorry, Bruce. I'm so sorry. I <clears throat> just got a little carried away there. Uh, Mr. Dent, the photographer's ready for you. Thank you, Deborah. I'll be right out. Please, Bruce. Don't tell anyone about this. I was just, you know, thinking out loud, that's all. I didn't mean any of it. It's just the stress of the job kind of gets to me. Look, Harvey, that therapist you told me about, I think you should call her. Maybe she can help you work through whatever this is that you're going through. Just think about it, okay? Uh, yeah, yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll look into it. See you around, Bruce. Yeah, see ya. Damn, Harvey's losing it. <sighs> the only mayor capable of running this town and he's losing his touch. Damn it. An interview with the children of Arkham's leader. I wonder how Vicky managed to score that. Uh, have you seen today's copy of the Gazette? It just arrived a moment ago. It seems Miss Vale has been talking to some very interesting people. People the Batman would like to find. Do you think she would be willing to help you? She may be the only lead we have on the children of Arkham's leader. Perhaps she could be persuaded to reveal her source. Last time we talked, I gave her a pretty valuable tip. Sergeant Montoya's name. Though after this interview, I'm sure the police will become suspicious of all 
of Miss Vale's sources, and if they find out you leaked Montoya's name... True. We need to be careful. I can't afford to waste time with Vicky. Let's offer her a chat with Batman. Good idea, sir. Can you scramble the line? Right away. Vale. I saw your story in the Gazette this morning. I want to talk. Who... who is this? Batman. I didn't realize that Batman was a fan of my work. Didn't say I was a fan. Just said I wanted to talk. I've been meaning to thank you. What you did at the debate. I'm not sure I would have made it out of there otherwise. I'd say I owe you one. Yes, you do. Meet me at sundown. Cobblepot Park. Deal. Alrighty then. So I'm gonna end this episode here not to make it too long. And I guess I'll see you guys in the next episode. Oh, I mean the next part of this episode of Batman episode 3. And until then, bye bye. And please like and comment on the videos. Subscribe to our channel. And I'll see you guys in the next part. Bye.